Okay. Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about um, what you should have for your cane corso puppy. As soon as everything is ready and uh, puppy is ready for trip and in a few days it's going to be in your home. What should I buy? Uh, dry or uh, raw dyed? Or what should I use? Uh, carrot or vitamins? Uh, maybe I should ask my neighbor. Maybe I should call to my friend who lives somewhere who is uh, using a dog uh, blah blah name no ask your breeder about this uh, yesterday i received uh, the question from uh, one of the owners he asked about the food and my recommendations are the following uh, now in the kennel we use farmina and the uh, low grain you can also find it on the internet i will put uh, the link on uh, on the website of farmina and you will find the food which is good for you what we use here we use uh, farmina food but for medium uh, breed why because the size of the kibbles they are not big they are not small and they are really good for uh, for for dogs to to eat so we do recommend farmina medium breed low grain the taste of protein you should choose yourself why do we use Farmina? Uh, first of all, this is one of the best uh, uh, dry foods uh, at the moment. It is holistic. And um, I should better explain you what holistic means. Holistic means uh, the best uh, quality of protein which you give uh, to your puppy. And a percentage of protein and also a, a percentage of fiber which should also accompany protein is really important. And uh, this diet, uh, which Farmina, uh, Farmina uh, provides to uh, Gladiatera Kennel and to uh, our owners at, long, at, least, um, at, the, at the end, is uh, the diet we do recommend. You will uh, see the difference in comparison with uh, other dogs of the same breed. And uh, after more than 10 years experience with Farmina, we can definitely say that this is one of the best food uh, uh, we, we, we use so far and we're going to continue. Next question is about vitamins. Uh, you, you, you give to your puppy during the age and uh, one of the uh, important uh, periods at the age of uh, Cane Corso is period between 4 and 12 months. This is the period of uh, uh, really fast growth of your, of your dog. This is why you need to supply your puppy with uh, necessary building materials. I always compare uh, growth of the puppy with the building of real house. If you do not bring your dog necessary amount uh, of bricks, you will never make a wall or you will never make the good floor. This is why all the components are necessary. But some of the components, uh, for example, batten, you should uh, supply during this period uh, in bigger amount. And if talking about vitamins, uh, we recommend canina, for joints and in some uh, uh, really rare situations we recommend to add more calcium but in Farmina the food we recommend you have enough percentage of calcium together with with uh, phosphor uh, which uh, uh, gives necessary number of bricks of these building materials for your puppy uh, now we need to talk about uh, the treatment of uh, your puppy uh, you receive puppy fully vaccinated. What it means? It means that uh, all necessary vaccines uh, up to age are already done uh, on the territory of uh, the breeder with quarantine pass. But um, you will have to make uh, uh, additional treatment to your puppy depending on age. First of all, you need to regularly make the warming and your veterinar will recommend you the last uh, generation of uh, treatment against uh, different kind of worms and you need to do it each three months next uh, issue what you will have to do regularly clean ears and uh, 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 cut clothes if you cannot do it yourself uh, please come to your vet at least once a month because if you do not do it regularly it will possibly uh, damage uh, uh, the nail and will cause pain, infection, and you will make more uh, harm to your pup than uh, econom uh, budget on uh, uh, regular treatment. Stop. So, uh, 
we uh, discussed the treatment this deworming and uh, claw uh, treatment also ears it is easy to treat ears with uh, uh, wet uh, tissues for example and it is uh, really uh, fast and handy but uh, please remember at age of 12 months you should repeat vaccination and this vaccination dependent on the country is repeated in a period of one year or uh, two years uh, you need to check it with your vet. Next question, when and how to wash your puppies? Uh, please remember that um, uh, during the trip, uh, when puppy is alone and going from the kennel, when he knows uh, everything and he uh, finds himself in a stranger car going somewhere with a guy who is talking to him in nice voice but still he's a stranger he feels stressed so this is why do not uh, take your puppy and uh, do not wash him immediately because it will be additional stress give him some few hours to relax to understand that you are uh, his uh, family for now uh, and only then you can uh, uh, take him and wash him in, uh, uh, more, uh, with warm water uh, next question, uh, which I, I uh, normally receive from uh, future owners, which uh, uh, cosmetics uh, to be used for the puppy? Uh, it can be professional cosmetic, uh, which you can buy uh, in every pet shop, or if you do not have uh, this pet shop uh, not far from your house, use uh, baby uh, cosmetics with uh, uh, pH neutral. It will not influence uh, damage on the skin, it will not make the skin dry and at the end you will have a uh, uh, nice odor and puppy will be happy. Uh, now is the most important part of, uh, of uh, this conversation. Your homework you need to do uh, when your puppy is already at home, washed, treated, loved. You need to really invest in your puppy if you want to receive good canicorso which behaves in uh, all different conditions. And one of the lessons uh, he uh, or she, the puppy, should receive during this time of growth is uh, socialization. We give uh, puppies um, different situations where uh, he can hear different noises, meet different people, uh, uh, come across with different situations, but still this is not enough. And uh, first, what you need to train your puppy is to walk on the leash and uh, choice of the leash I will uh, explain later on in later, uh, later video. But what is socialization? Uh, this is uh, like for human kids, this is how a uh, uh, puppy behaves in different situations. Going in restaurants, for example, he shouldn't jump. Going along the streets, he should not be afraid of cars. Uh, meeting new people, you should explain him how to react to new people. And this is exactly the same as uh, you normally do with uh, human kids. You explain him with uh, normal words, uh, do not be afraid, uh, come here, be quiet, let's go and check what is it. Uh, if, for example, puppy hears the sound of, uh, of the car, you should take him on the leash and accurately go to the place where the sound uh, was for him to understand that th that was just the sound and nothing dangerous. If you give him enough knowledge about the world he lives in, he uh, will never be afraid of uh, any situations he come across with. So, next question is the place for your puppy. Um, you know that um, uh, dogs, they do not like to be in audience and sometimes they want to, to, to go to the secret place where they can finally hide from your loving kids, from you with your comments, from uh, your guests who want to touch you and understand that you are not dangerous. The place where he will feel secure. And uh, the best place uh, for, for your puppy is uh, uh, no matter where, but not uh, in the ale. It, is, uh, it should be in some corner. This is the place where your puppy can really hide.
uh, how to train uh, to, to this place, how to understand, uh, how to explain your puppy that this is uh, uh, his private. Um, I can, if you want, explain you later on. But uh, the major idea is that uh, this place should be hidden, uh, this place uh, where his uh, uh, water and food uh, should stay, and this is his um, uh, uh, ideal place to hide. Uh, what to choose for this? Uh, it's, uh, it's up to you. Uh, you can choose uh, different mats or different uh, beds for dogs. But uh, uh, keep uh, in mind that it, it should not be easy chewable. It, is, uh, uh, it should be uh, uh, stable, long term and easy to clean. This is the best uh, I can recommend about this. We started from the food and uh, I want to finish with the water. Water is one of the most important components of uh, your puppy life. Uh, what it gives, it, uh, uh, it gives not only help uh, from uh, thirst, but also it gives uh, water salt balance. So uh, please provide uh, uh, clean water together with food. It uh, should always be uh, available for your puppy. He should uh, drink it anytime he wants. And I also recommend to give water together with food, so you add the uh, same volume of water inside the dry food you give to your puppy. It will guarantee this process of um, digestion, this water salt balance. It will guarantee that all vitamins and um, micro elements will definitely uh, go inside and will be digested. So, we discussed uh, all uh, the necessary things you need to have uh, at the moment when the puppy arrives to your home. So, we discussed the food, we discussed the treatments you need to do, we discussed uh, 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 additional vitamins you need to give, we also discussed uh, the place uh, which your puppy should have. We, by the way, forgot about the toys, but I think I should have some video uh, on the channel where you can um, look uh, what kind of toys we're choosing here uh, and also water. So, uh, the most important, uh, 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 if talking about what to be ready for, be ready to be responsible for the dog you are taking. Because um, each dog we have here in the kennel is the dog we already invested in a, uh, a lot of love. And please, love your dogs. Uh, my name is Andrei Sidorov, I'm breeder and handler of Canecorso uh, Kennel. If you have questions, please write uh, uh, below this uh, video or uh, direct messages in Instagram or Facebook.